Whether you're visiting Abu Dhabi as your main destination or visiting from Dubai, then the Hilton Abu Dhabi Yas Island is a fantastic choice. This five-star waterfront hotel is conveniently located to all four amusement parks and also boasts large rooms, amazing pool, incredible breakfast, and maybe the best executive lounge in all of the UAE. We have now arrived at the Hilton Yas Island. Let's go check out this five-star hotel. Very excited, we're gonna get a free ticket to one of the parks and today we're choosing Yas Island Aqua Park. Very excited. And indeed it was exciting because we did arrive super early and were able to get our tickets to go to Yas Water World. Now normally check-in time is around three o'clock but we were able to get our room at about 1.30 when we got back from the water park. The lobby itself was very inviting and light filled. The staff were very friendly at checking, giving us information about the water park and also the second time when we arrived all about the hotel. Yeah, Yang says we're like uh, people from the village. It is true. The way we are dressed. You know, my mom, auntie, every time we, work, we go to for holiday or vacation, you take rice, pocket, <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, of course, gonna be cheap, right? Being cheap might come in handy because the rates here are not quite the cheapest in all of Abu Dhabi. But as you can see, everything is extremely high-end and worth the money. There's even a little shop when you come in where you can buy some extra stuff before you go to the parks. And we were off to the rooms. Here we are in a King Deluxe room on the executive floor. First thing that you have here is a nice little bathroom. Also have a nice changing room, a wardrobe. This is a connecting room, but we're not connecting with anybody. Here, a giant mirror. I have to say, all these UAE hotels are so well thought out and laid out. Here we have a nice big bath, very modern, nice amenities, all Evelyn Crabtree, quite standard, and a really nice mirror over there. As you can see, everything looks so brand new and shiny. Perfect. Nice big rain shower and shower head. This combination is always amazing. A little alcove there. Spotless. Spotless, I tell you. Spotless and shiny. That's what we love. Two little towels. Dental kits. Some tissue. More towels. Some scales. Okay, let's go and check out the rest of the room. Let's begin with the fact that you have a little, uh, I hesitate to call it a glory hole, but you have a little uh, window here where you can observe your partner bathing. Actually, I thought there was a guest bathroom, but over there is the only toilet. This is just a shower room, which is good because you want to have those separated. Of course, the glorious, comfortable Hilton bed looks very inviting and a very nice bit of artwork back there. Storage, fridge, more storage, more storage. Complimentary water, espresso machine, teas and coffees, very big TV. And I do love how they've set this up. You can use it as a desk, but also eat together, very family friendly or couple friendly. But yeah, of course, let's go check out the view. Look at that. It is roasting hot out here. You have ample space, to be honest. You have all this. And we're quite lucky. I'm not sure if the other ones are all as separated as this. We a nice big wall here, so you don't uh, have to even see your neighbor. Look at that amazing poolside, incredible. Now, over there, you have the infinity pool of the Cafe del Mar which is all included with a stay here. Really, really, really cool. As you can see, although slightly pricier, this hotel does have a lot of benefits. For example, being able to go to the Cafe del Mar and the amusement parks. And as you can see, there are so many lounges all around the pool. You will not have to fight for that. And if you're still feeling adventurous after going to the amusement park, you can also take a ride on this boat car thing. Very excited to go try those things out. It is really hot at the moment. So we might spend the next couple of hours inside the room in the air conditioning before it gets a bit cooler and we can go and enjoy the outside. You like it? I like the view. You like the view? 
But yeah, the view's really cool. Here we have all of the lights. You can control everything from the bedside. USB-C, USB, and two power plugs. I have a USB and a UK style, the same thing. And also some controls. Very nice little lighting along the top there. Great, absolutely great. Very nice hotel, very excited. I have a feeling the breakfast here is also gonna be very spectacular and the lounge too. In fact, I think we are right on time to go and have some tea. On the seventh floor, you'll find a great Hilton executive lounge. This is one of the best lounges in the UAE, at least for us. There was so much seating. It was very comfortable. There were TVs showing the news and sports. There was, it was never crowded at any point. There were so many nice decorations and the view, oh my God, absolutely incredible. Imagine having your tea or your drinks in the evening here, watching the sun go down. And on the other side of the executive lounge is also a view. There are plugs everywhere in case you need to work. Very well thought out. And as you can see, the food is served in this separate room. So you can just come and get your food and sit down. That way it never gets crowded. And every time we went, the food was restaurant quality. So let's check out the tea time. Got some pistachio baklava, chocolate eclairs, saffron mayo, chicken sandwich, mushroom sandwiches, or oh, scones, cottage cream, jam, very nice. Cookies, dried kiwi, mixed nuts. I have to say this was a very, very decent tea time selection and I was very happy. And next it was off to the spa. The Euphoria spa here was really fancy. They had really nice decorations everywhere. It was comfortable. There were lots of products and stuff. Not that I know anything about that, but I did appreciate these trees and the light. But let's go inside. The first thing you have here is like a chilling room or relaxation room. As you can see, there are a few snacks and things that you can help yourself to. It looks really nice and calming. Next, you can go to this very cool looking jacuzzi. Enjoy yourself. This remember, this is just the men's area. You cannot go in couples, so this is just the men's part. Some ice there for your face and this very cool experience shower. There's jungle sounds and also thunder and lightning. Very nice way to have a shower, I would say. Of course, there's also a steam room and also a sauna. If treatments are your thing, then there's a plethora of those. I particularly like this couple's room or couple's suite where you could get a massage for one hour at a very competitive rate on a hot water bed and a sand bed. And finally, if you want to lose weight quickly, here's a Japanese massage bed that burns 600 calories per hour apparently. But that was enough for the spa and we were off to check out the outside pool area. Just outside there's an outdoor game area, also some drinking water refill stations and of course the pool itself. There was also a children's playground, but I think most of us are interested in the adults playground, the Café del Mar. As you can see here, you do have a lot of offers, but staying at the hotel lets you get in for free. This is a fantastic place to spend your evenings, especially at sunset. What a great place. Music is always good here. We didn't try any food, but we're definitely going to do that next time because we are coming back to this hotel for sure. And of course, we went back to the hotel in time for the executive lounges, hot canapes and happy hour. I thought that the alcohol selection here was quite fair. See, there's also cold beers on hand with iced glasses, very nice. And I thought that the actual canapes, this was incredible. This was not a canopy, this was a buffet. And we really helped ourselves to everything here because it was so delicious. And there were not that many people in the lounge, so we really appreciated that everything was made fresh and hot and there was enough of it. I've seen hotels where they try and be a bit stingy when they might not have that many people in the hotel, but we've ate like kings and queens. In fact, we did load our plates massively with this delicious food and we went to sit down, but little did we know that there was a big surprise in store for us that we had no idea was coming. Thank you so much. What an amazing team. Look at this. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Cake. <laughs> wow. And about Wow, look at all this. Oh my God. We were here an hour ago and we mentioned that we, we got engaged and now this like, you know, like they've been planning for weeks. So wow. thank you so much. It's amazing. It's very, very romantic. Can we do this? Yes, please. For you. Yes. Woo, thank you so much. Asante San. As you can see, uh, you're very well taken care of in this hotel. Look at this. 
Prosecco, decorations, balloons everywhere. And this was, I didn't even ask them to do this. Nobody told them anything. We were just chatting, laughing. They mentioned that, that we got engaged and that was at tea time. And an hour and 15 minutes later, we've come here and they've already set this whole thing up in the boardroom. Amazing, absolutely insane. From Prio, from Myanmar, Sabra from India, Yvonne from Kenya and Leila from Philippines. Thank you so much. You've made our stay unbelievable. We ended the night on our balcony with this incredible night view and we were happy to have had an early night because the next morning it was time for some breakfast. If you watched all of that, you'll agree with me that that's an incredible breakfast. And I absolutely loved that egg curry. Very special. And who could resist all the sweet stuff afterwards? And remember to come early enough because when it gets to about 10 o'clock, it gets very crowded. Now, whether it's crowded downstairs or not, if you have access to the executive lounge by being diamond or booking it, this is a perfect place to have a very calm and quiet breakfast. It's open half an hour later as well. The selection is not as varied as downstairs, but if peace and quiet and incredible views are your priority, then this is the place to go. Considering the quality of this executive lounge, the breakfast, the free access to Cafe Del Mar, the free access per person per night to one of the four amusement parks, this hotel is worth the cost. We would not hesitate to stay here again, and in fact, we hope to come back because this has quickly become one of our favorite hotels in the whole of the UAE. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe. And see you next week when we review the Conrad Abu Dhabi. See you there.